Hello everybody welcome to our excel course in this chapter we will learn some basic shortcuts now these shortcuts are same across all your windows applications so if you are working in ms excel or word or paint many of these shortcuts will remain same across all the applications all right so let's get started now suppose you have a data sheet like this one and you want to move across your cells then you can use your arrow keys to move across the cells like for example if you want to move uh, right in towards right in your sheet then use right arrow key use down arrow key to move downwards top arrow key to move top top in the excel sheet and left arrow key to move in the left direction in your excel sheet so the shortcut key to move across your sheet data sheet or whatever model that you are working on is arrow keys okay arrow keys can be move across can be used to move across in the excel sheet now next we will see how to cut the data in any particular cell so the key to cut data is control x so use control x to cut the data and control v to paste the data so the key to cut the data is control x and to paste the data the shortcut key is control v all right similarly the key to copy the data in a cell is control c so do control c to copy the data in any particular cell and control v to paste the data all right now to delete the data in any particular cell the key is del so use del key on your keyboard to delete contents of any particular cell one important note here is do not use backspace to delete the contents of your cell i repeat do not use backspace key to delete the contents of your cell the reason being whenever you use backspace key to delete the contents uh, it might leave unnecessary spaces in your excel sheet and especially this can be harmful when uh, you are working on financial models your model can be distorted with this additional spaces so be extremely careful do not use backspace key to delete the contents of the cell just use del key on your keyboard all right now let's let's move on to the next key suppose you want to undo your previous action then the key is control z so press control z and whatever your previous action was it will get it will be undone all right so right now if you remember i had deleted the value in this cell a3 i hit i press the button control z and the perf uh, the action of delete was undone all right now similarly to redo the action redo your previous action the key is control y see pressing control y will redo your previous action so the action uh, the delete the delete action was first undone and then i performed a redo action by control y and the cell the contents of the cell got deleted all right so control z for performing undo action and control y for performing redo action all right now suppose you want to select all the contents of your sheet so the key to select all the contents of your sheet is control a see the entire sheet gets selected using control a now suppose you want to de deselect it so press any key any arrow key for example on your uh, keyboard and the selection will be gone all right so control a to select all the contents on your data sheet now suppose you want to open a new sheet all right you suppose you want to open a new file altogether the key for doing that is control o so press control o to open a new file all right so you will get a window wherein you can go and select whatever files you want to select all right now we'll press cancel over here since we do not want to open another file so the key to open a new file is control o 
Similarly, suppose you want to create a new file. Suppose you want to create a new file in Excel. So in Excel, we call it a workbook. So the cre to create a new workbook, the key is Control N. All right. So the minute you enter Control N, press Control N, a uh, new workbook will be created for you. All right. So the key to create a new file is Control N. All right. We will switch back to our previous one. Now suppose you want to print the contents of the Excel sheet that you are working on. Then the key is Control P. So Control P is for printing your Excel sheet. Now once you hit Control P, you will get a print window wherein you can make the necessary uh, settings and hit OK. All right. Right now we do not want to print anything, so we will cancel this okay similarly the window can be closed using escape key okay so escape key can be used to close any window for that matter all right so escape key is to close any new window that you have opened right now let's move on further suppose you want to close a particular excel file like just now we created a new file using control n now you don't need this file suppose you want to close it so the, con the key is control f4 all right so to close any particular excel file the key is control f4 all right now similarly suppose you want to exit from excel okay you want to close excel itself then the key is alt f4 all right so the minute you hit alt f4 it will ask you to uh, save the changes all right so now we do not want to save any changes so we'll hit cancel over here so please remember control f4 is used to close a particular excel file or a workbook Whereas Alt F4 is used to exit from Excel itself. All right, it is used to exit from that application. Okay, so next move on. Let's move on to the next key. Suppose you want to save the changes, then the shortcut key is Control S. So press Control S to save your changes. All right. Now, suppose you want to find any particular data in your Excel sheet. Like, for example, you are looking for uh, the word Kirti over here. So, press Ctrl F to open the Find window. Alright. So, the key to open Find window is Control F. Now, here you will type on whatever you want to find. Like, for example, we are searching for cell with data Kirti. Okay. So, Type it here, press enter, you will be taken to the cell where Kirti is okay, written. Again, we will do find next. There is no more Kirti, alright. So, control F to find the data. Similarly, to replace uh, any particular data, the key is control H. So, we are replacing Anita with Kirti, okay. And see, Excel has completed its search and has made one replacement. All right. Okay. So the value Anita has been replaced with Kirti. Okay. So the the key to find and replace is Control H. Using Control H, you will get a window where we, we where you can give what values you want to find. And uh, then uh, you, you can replace it with whatever value you want. Press Alt R to perform the replace action and your value gets replaced. Alright, now in this case we will press Ctrl Z to undo the previous changes. Okay, now uh, suppose you want to switch between different windows. Like for example, uh, you are working on say... You 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 were you were working on something else like you were uh, trying to find out something in um, Google or something like that. All right. So the and you want to switch between different applications. So to switch between different applications, the key is Alt Tab. All right. So press Alt Tab and it will take you to whatever application you want. Again, press Alt Tab to come back to your application. When you press Alt Tab, you get this set, you know, whatever applications are open on your machine and you can switch between them. 
conveniently okay without having to use mouse all right so alt tab to switch between the windows so uh, with this we have completed some of the basic shortcuts like i mentioned uh, in the beginning of this chapter that these shortcuts are used uh, commonly across all the windows applications like uh, be it ms word or excel or paint uh, most of the shortcuts are same in the in these applications what you can do is you can uh, uh, practice uh, using these shortcuts like for example uh, open any particular excel file in excel file then try to move across the data sheet using arrow keys and try to cut copy paste the data try to make a uh, selection of entire data sheet try to find something replace something okay try to switch between different applications just stop just try all these things by yourself and if in case there is any problem you can definitely go back to the video and see the relevant keys all right and just practice about it okay just practice it and you'll be uh, able to uh, learn those keys in a short while all right so that's all for this chapter thank you